there was something about the walls that I didn't like. I think it was the way they wouldn't stop swimming. Carlotta was obviously upset by Anu Anu's injuries. I guess there was a heart in that cold chest somewhere. Come on, Carlotta, let's get out of here before the rest of the roof comes down. I'm not leaving my master. He's not going to make it. You can at least save yourself. Leave us, Luton. Leave! I decided against touching the... There was something about the... I think it was... There was something... I think it was the... An inscription had appeared on the wall. Maybe it had been there all the time and I just couldn't read it. I wasn't sure. It seemed to say... Quad nescient eos interficit. I didn't know what it meant. Quad meant what, but that was all I knew. For a god, Anu Anu was looking in a bad way. I tried to listen in to what Anu Anu was saying, but his voice was weak and faltering. I should have known. The inscription. I... I forgot the inscription. Quiet, Master. Conserve your strength. It looked as if part of the ceiling had rearranged most of Warb's head. Sometimes I wondered if these ancient temples were designed to fall in on themselves at dramatic moments. I searched the rubble and uncovered the golden falchion. The sword was bad luck, but I had a feeling it was safer in my hands than anyone else's. The only thing of interest on Warb's body was the charm bracelet, and I didn't want to take that back. It looked as if part of the ceiling had rearranged most of Warb's head. The terrified cultist was obviously in pain and finding it hard to walk. He wasn't going anywhere. Well, he wasn't going anywhere fast, anyway. What's up with you? <laughs> Broke my stupid leg when the roof came in. <laughs> Which one are you? What? You must be Coom. How did you know that? I recognize your voice. Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't turn you over to the watch. Please, don't. <laughs> I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. It was just a little fun, you know? Secret meetings and plots for world domination. I mean, it's intoxicating. Well, now it's blown up in your face and at least one member of your cult is dead. Who was it? Warb. He had a disagreement with a large block of stone. I, I don't want to do... I'm, I I'm terrified. I, I, I suspect that some of the cultists might have wanted us to fail. Really? Why? I don't know. Just a hunch. Please don't turn me over to the watch. I didn't do anything wrong. Eight people died because of your cult. I... 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 No. I'm sorry. I should never have got involved. Where have the others gone? I don't know. Back to the sanctuary, I guess. They didn't really tell me much. I was only the novice. Maybe I was getting soft in my old age, but I couldn't escape the feeling that the poor fool was just a victim of peer pressure. I guess he just wanted to belong to something, and he didn't much care what. I sympathized, in my own way. Get going. I don't ever want to see you again. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you. You won't regret this. I'd better not. I don't know exactly what I hope to learn from the sanctuary, but I went anyway. Maybe I was hoping that all the cultists would be as easily intimidated as Goom. I was wrong. You're very sharp, Mr. Luton. You've done a very sharp thing. Maybe even sharp enough to cut your own throat. You must be Kondo. I'm flattered. How did you know? <laughs> I recognize your voice. You tried to kill me with that crossbow once before. It's silver-tipped before you get any heroic ideas. The dark sect isn't as sloppy as the cult of Anu Anu. A cult within a cult. We couldn't believe our luck. Mooncalf and Therma were looking for people to join their cult, and they actually wanted to summon Niall or Nethotep. Can you believe that? Do you have any idea how rare it is that someone wants to summon the laddering horror for anything other than wreaking havoc and destruction? Who's we? Oh, no, it's not that easy. Do you think I'm the overconfident villain who reveals his whole plot to the hero shortly before placing you in an overly complex life-or-death situation that you then escape from at the last minute? It might make life easier if you were. Real life isn't like the clickies, Luton. The good guys don't always win. What makes you think I'm the good guy? I don't care what side you're on, Luton. All I care about is that we are victorious and that everything is destroyed. I just don't understand why anyone would want to destroy the whole of creation. If you want to die, why not just kill yourself? I'm going to achieve something with my life, Luton. Something that no one will ever forget. Everyone's going to be dead. No one is going to remember anything. And that's an achievement no one else can claim. You're insane. That's what my psychiatrist said. I had to kill him too. He knew too much. Just like you. Some people say that when you're about to die, your life flashes before your eyes. For me, the world seemed to go into slow motion. I told you, Luton, the good guys don't always win. Very true, but they try much harder. I'm dead, aren't I? Am I going to spend eternity suffering in the pits of hell for what I've done? If that's what you want. Oh, I can't believe I'm not going to find out how all this ends. After all the work I put into it. It's never fun being taken off a project you've worked hard on. That's the last time I get so involved in my work. How right you are. When I came to, I wasn't sure if I was dead or alive. That seemed to be happening to me a lot. Hello again. Have you come for me? No. I was just passing through and I thought it would be polite to say hello. Isn't that what you're supposed to do with acquaintances? If you want to scare them to death. Sorry. I'm not good in social situations. It must be hard to fit in when you're a seven-foot-tall skeleton with a scythe. I'll see you later. That doesn't fill me with confidence. That, I'm afraid, is your problem. I'd killed Kondo, but at least he hadn't killed me. On Kondo's body was an amulet. It had to be worth finding out what it was, so I took it.
When I went back to the mansion, the butler had some grim news for me. The Count had shuffled off his mortal coil in the recent disc quake. He was sleeping the big sleep, pushing up daisies, crossing the final frontier, booking a vacation to the underworld. Basically, he was dead. Fortunately, he'd left provisions for me in his will. He'd pay my way to the end of the case, and more importantly, he was allowing me to continue to use the library. Well, what did it matter to him who used the library now he was gone? When you're dead, you were sleeping the big sleep. Nothing much mattered to you anymore. All the nastiness was behind you. For the rest of us, the nastiness was still all around us. And if I didn't stop that nastiness from crushing us all under its tentacles, we'd all be sleeping the big sleep. Frankly, I didn't think the afterlife would have enough beds. I had a look through the Necro Telecomnicon discussed for students to see if I could find any more useful information. It wasn't long before I found the phrase that had been inscribed on the wall of the sepulchral temple, Quad Nessiant Eos Interficit. It turned out to be the motto of an ancient cult, the Dark Sect of Nylonathotep, whose emblem was the triple-lobed eye. The tome told me a little of the history of the cult. It seems the mad cultists of the laddering horror had conspired to destroy all creation, but their attempt failed, obviously, and they were believed to have faded into obscurity. I had a suspicion that's exactly what the cult wanted people to think. According to the book, the cult had a sacred artifact, a source of great power known as the Radiant Trapezohedron, which could destroy Nylonathotep or give him dominion over all things if it fell into his tentacles. There was no description of it, although the author seemed to think it was something small. There was something about a cult plotting to destroy all creation that disturbed me. I had a feeling you couldn't reason with people like that. I looked for another reference to the Radiant Trapezohedron and found it in the Encyclopedia Tenius. Apparently, 400 years ago, the Order of the Sacred Tulip swore to find the Trapezohedron and prevent it from falling into the hands of the Dark Sect. Legend had it that one knight swore to never rest until he was sure it could never fall into the hands of the Dark Sect. According to the encyclopedia, he eventually found the trapezohedron and brought it to Ankh-Morpork, where he was buried alongside it. The Temple of Small Gods seemed deserted when I returned there. I could hear mad laughter echoing inside. Mooncalf? Is that you? Leave this place! Be gone! All are cursed! All will be destroyed! It was Mooncalf, all right. <laughs> what happened, Mooncalf? Mother was right. <laughs> I should have become a tax collector. It's good money, Mooncalf, she said. <laughs> Better than you learn with that cult foolishness. You've got to provide for your future. <laughs> now look at me. I have no future. <laughs> None of us have a future unless we can stop Nylon Athatep. <laughs> Don't say that name. Don't say that name. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
After the summoning, the words Quadnessiant Eos Interficit appeared on the wall. What does that mean to you? No. No, it didn't. That temple doesn't exist! It never happened! Uh, yes it did. No! No, it didn't! It never happened! How can I stop Nylon Athotep? Don't mention that name! Okay. Let's try a different approach. Can you tell me anything about the Radiant Trapezohedron? They always hated me. Even as a child. They never liked me. Um... About the Trapezohedron? They always ruined my plans. They never liked me. Nobody likes me. I was hoping for something a little less personal and a little more useful, Mooncalf. This amulet is the mark of that entity that you and your cult summoned. I found it on Kondo's body. Does it mean anything to you? It means that Kondo is a traitor. He won't be the only one. They all hate me! <laughs> Kondo wasn't a follower of Anuano at all. He worships the laddering horror. I think he might have been mad. Madness? Yes. Sweet singing in my ears. Seems to be fashionable at the moment. Now listen to me. I need to know who else might have been a double agent. Who? Who? I'll tell you who. They all hated me. Especially Foyd. Foyd? The Troll? Yes. The Troll. I never liked him. I don't trust Trolls. Where is he now? How would I know? He wouldn't tell me. He never liked me. Nobody liked me. Did he say anything to you? He said he was going to change his identity, make a run for it. Such a coward. Stupid troll. What about the rest of the cult? Where can I find them? It's too late for everyone. Nothing can save us now. Where's your faith? Don't you believe that Anu Anu is the god of gods? No. I renounce my faith. Anu Anu betrayed me. He betrayed me! <laughs> Mooncalf jumped screaming through the stained glass window and began to climb the temple. I could hear Mooncalf ranting as he climbed up the outside of the temple. I give my faith to one god, and it brings about the destruction of everything. <laughs> Gods are nothing but trouble. <laughs> You can't trust them. You can't trust them. We don't need them. <laughs> they need us more than we need them. <laughs> I'm letting atheism into my heart as my savior. I can't believe I survived that fall. You didn't. <laughs> your... Oh, your death, then. You've heard of me? Hmm. I'm flattered. Oh, what were the odds that I'd get hit by lightning just as I renounced all gods? About one to one, I'd say. You're not the first. Although I think you're the first to do it from the top of their own temple. Full marks for style. Oh, oh th thank you, I think. Don't mention it. I try to make the process as enjoyable as possible. So what happens next? That depends on you. But you've renounced all the gods, so I doubt you'll be off to any of the heavens. Or hells, for that matter. Well, what about reincarnation? 
I always like the sound of that. Well, it's not really up to me. But if you do come back, can I advise you to be careful what you say on the top of religious monuments? I'll see what I can do. Do you know, I, I, I don't feel so, I don't know, so dedicated anymore. Hmm, death gives you a whole new perspective on life. I should never have become a zealot. My mother was right. I should have been a tax collector. Perhaps in the next lifetime, eh? Say what you like about Mooncalf. He knew how to put on a show. Unfortunately, he hadn't left me with many leads, although finding Foyd wasn't a bad idea. I had already a lot of practice getting information out of trolls. All I had to do was work out where he was. <laughs> At first glance, Rodin looked like a typical sculptor. On closer examination, I decided he was much less. You're back. Back? Uh, had I uh, um, um, gone somewhere? Here we go again. I'm looking for someone named Foyd. Do you know them? Foyd. Um... Foyd. No, no, I don't remember that name. He's a troll. No. Definitely haven't seen any, any tr trolls. Yes, you have. Malachite was staying here. Oh. Um, yes. Well, no trolls apart from um, Mal Malachite. Rodan was hiding something. But what? I guess you'd better get back to your work. They looked like ordinary bandages, but at some point they'd been soaked in plaster. What they were doing in Roden's workshop was anyone's guess. Drop these over by Malachite's spot. Oh, uh, uh, did I? Thank you. Uh, what are they? They're bandages. Only the funny thing is, they're covered in plaster. Really? I suppose you were making some kind of modification to one of your statues. Yes, yes, that's right. Hmm? Only the... Funny thing is, none of the statues have changed. Perhaps you could explain that. Uh, um, well, um, um, Shall I tell you what I think? I think you're operating as an illegal plaster surgeon for trolls on the lamb. Half inch on the nose here, a bit extra on the chin. Even their own mother wouldn't know them, eh? But, 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 but I, I, I never do anything illegal, honestly. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm not going to turn you over to the watch. I just want some information. Information? Yeah. I know that you're not the best person to come to for information, given your memory. Yes, that's what makes me a good plaster surgeon. I can never remember who my patients are. Do you work here? Not usually. No. 
I, I, I usually work wherever they need me. But you had to do Malachite here because he didn't have anywhere to go. Uh, 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 Malachite. Hmm. Malachite. Oh, come on. He was right here in the workshop. Oh, that troll. Uh, yes, yes, I, I did him. That's what I thought. Did you work on a troll named Foyd? Foyd. Hmm. Um. All right, I can't give you a description. All trolls look the same to me. But if you worked on him, it'd have been recently. Have you worked on a troll in the last day or so? Yes. Yes. I I I worked on someone down by the river recently. A street name would be nice. Ugh, I'm really hopeless with names. How do you find people's houses? I'm really good at taking directions. Well, where was this trawl that you worked on? You walk to the river Ankh, uh, uh, turn right, and then take the third street on the right. It's, it's opposite an abandoned shop. An abandoned shop? Thanks. I think I can find that. I guess you'd better get back to your work. Foyd, are you there? No, there's no one named Foyd here. Don't lie, Foyd. Firstly, I recognize your voice. And secondly, I've spoken to Rodan. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cause you any trouble. The big, dumb troll was lying almost motionless on the floor. The floor had seen better days. Someone had painted the sign of the eel on the floor. Foyd must have been looking for protection from the laddering horror. I guess he wasn't as stupid as he seemed. Or maybe his self-preservation was strong enough to cut through his stupidity. All you have to do is cooperate with me, and I'll leave you alone. Were you followed? No. I've got cautious about that recently. What do you want? Nice place you have here. Cut the small talk. Just ask you questions and get out. I wouldn't know nothing about that. I wouldn't know. Why have you inscribed an Elver sign on the floor? No reason. It wasn't so that you could protect yourself, was it? No. It's just that it looks pretty, that's all. You're lying, Foyd. You're terrified. 
You think the symbol is going to protect you? What if I do? That's my right. Who's it gonna protect you from, Foyd? Not gonna say that name ever again. Never. Maybe I can help you. No one can help me now. Does this amulet mean anything to you? Hey, uh, yeah. That does look familiar. That's Satraps. This belongs to Satrap? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Saw it round his neck. And where is he now? Uh, dunno. Nice place you have. Cat just Does this amulet mean anything to you? Uh, yeah. That's uh... This belongs to Satrap? Are you sure? Sure. Saw it round. And where is he now? Huh? Foyd? Think carefully. I'm still looking for Satrap, Therma, and Gelid. Do you know where they are? No. Do you know? Do you know anything about the plays at the Disc Theater? I can't help you with that. Did anyone ever mention the Radiant Trapezohedron to you, Foyd? The Radiating Trapezohedron? I'll take that as a no. Do you know what Quadnessiant Aeos Interficit means? That's the thingy. Quadnessiant CEO's Interficit. The thingy? What does it mean to you? Uh... Dunno. I could very quickly lose patience with you, Foyd. Tell me about Nile and Ethertel. No! Ask me something else! Were you part of the Nile and Ethertep worshippers? Not tell you nothing! Who are you running from, Foyd? Not saying nothing! <laughs> 